my god. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Are you real? Oh my god, you're so real. When we last left Big Ed on this channel, he was on his way to the Philippines to meet up with his 90 day fiance Rose to determine if this relationship was everything he dreamed it'd be. Since then, a number of new episodes have aired and we've all fallen a little further down the rabbit hole that is their car crash of a relationship. To be completely blunt, Things aren't going great for the couple, and if you pay close attention, it's pretty apparent why. Big Ed is in the middle of a huge car. I thought now would be a good time to take a closer look at Big Ed's experience, comparing and contrasting the rich, pampered lifestyle of Malbec wine, jacuzzis, Yorkshire Terriers, air conditioning, mayonnaise, and Vespas with the rough and tumble one he's experiencing in the name of love across the Pacific Ocean. By doing so, I think we'll be able to determine if this relationship really has any chance at all in succeeding. I. Do not believe in love. What's going on guys and girls? It's your boy Jared Bronstein back at it again with a new Rich Life video. This one on everyone's current favorite reality star, 90 Day Fiance's Big Ed. Our last video on this guy was a huge hit and I don't think it's a coincidence that right after we posted our video, old pictures of my dude started going viral. As Big Ed grew up and left high school, well he spent time working as a waiter, which is when he first came up with the moniker of Big Ed because he wanted people to know who he was so that when they returned to the restaurant, well they could ask for him by name. Yeah, those pics had it on Big Ed's Instagram for a while before they wound up in our video, but hey, you're welcome for shining a spotlight on how handsome you once were, Eddie. Well, I guess Mike, you can thank Mike, but we're the crew. All right, let's dig a little deeper into Big Ed's life and contrast his single life versus couple goals, and don't forget to let us know what you think of this video in the comments down below. All right, let's go. Before heading to the Philippines to give love a shot for the first time in over 30 years, Big Ed was living the good life in San Diego where he works at a design firm. What's up you guys, Big Ed, listen, I'm gonna go live in about 20 minutes. Um, I worked all day long at my design job. I knocked out about uh, 50 cameos and I'm tired. So I had a glass of Malbec, which is the best. Now you may have noticed my man Big Ed was drinking a glass of his favorite type of wine, Malbec, in that clip. Malbec is a purple grape variety that's used in the manufacturing of red wine. There are all different types of Malbec wine, and they can range in price anywhere from $10 to $100 for the really nice bottles. But on average, let's just guesstimate that Big Ed is dropping around 20 bucks on a bottle. You lean into your filter and your jacuzzi it freaks out. That was weird. Anyways. What's up, man? There they go. Here we go. I guess I leaned into the filter, that was weird. Of course, as often as he can be seen drinking wine, Big Ed likes to unwind after a long day by hopping in his jacuzzi. It's hard to tell exactly what model Big Ed is rocking, but by the looks of it, it's a middle tier type option that would probably retail for around four or $5,000. When he's not sweating out those tannins and toxins, Big Ed is cruising around town on his prized Vespa. Again, depending upon the specific model, retail prices can vary, but you're looking at getting set back around $6,000 if you were to pick up one of these beauties for yourself. But please note that looking as cool as Big Ed while operating one of these bad boys is not included in the price. To do that, you're gonna have to think a little outside of the box, or I guess you could say maybe jar. So I tried it and it worked, and I've been mm. doing it for about about nine months now. Wow. And, it's, and it, it really makes a difference, but you do smell like an egg salad <laughs> sandwich, so you gotta make sure that you you rinse it out thoroughly. Because oh, one yeah. time I didn't, and somebody's like, what smells like? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was at church. I'm kidding. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Did you try other uh, products before you turned to mayonnaise? Um... For example, moisturizer. For those of you wondering, Kraft Mayonnaise is his go-to when it comes to hair products, and you can currently purchase a 1.5 liter bottle of this stuff on Amazon for around five bucks. And here I was thinking that the price of beauty was steep. It's also why I wear hats, I guess. Finally, the biggest part of Big Ed's life, apart from his social media feeds, is his ever-constant companion, Teddy. Hey everybody, Big Ed and Ted stopping by to see you guys. Anyway, so <clears throat> I was having problems with my lower back, so I went to see the doctor, and he said, it's just, that's the way you're built, man. And I go, well, can I get a second opinion? He goes, yeah, and you're stupid. What? That was really mean. I'm kidding. Anyways, listen, you guys have a great uh, um, hump day. It's Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. Teddy, don't bark at that guy. 
Anyways, uh, but uh, thanks for to all my fans. You guys are awesome. Um. Teddy looks to be a poodle, but not entirely a purebred, probably a mix with something like a Shih Tzu. As such, his price tag wouldn't be astronomical, something in the range of around $1,000, and probably a bit less than that. When you take all of these creature comforts into consideration, there's almost no chance that Big Ed survives his trip to the Philippines, right? Well, let's take a look. Almost as soon as Big Ed arrives at his destination, he started to second guess his decision. He told Fox News during a recent interview, I quote, Rose lives in a very poor community. There's no indoor plumbing, and I'm a germaphobe. And I have to sleep with air conditioning conditioning on because I, you know, I just kind of sleep hot. So it was hot. It was humid. It was rainy. There were bugs. I mean, it was quite an amazing experience full of adventure, full of drama. The Philippines is a beautiful country. As handsome as he might have been once back in the day, Big Ed is no longer the type of person who looks like he enjoys himself some adventure, no matter how beautiful the country is. But if Big Ed has a problem with one thing about the Philippines, it's apparently the lack of hygiene. This is going to be less romantic. So this is um, mouthwash, and I got you a cute toothbrush. This your breath is not um, pretty. Gifting your prospective fiance a toothbrush is one of the first things you've ever given her is never a good look. And when you couple it with awkward exchanges like this one with her father, Rose. Rose. Yes, I'm here. Oh, I dropped it, so that's it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. You're done. Then it's safe to say things were not going well for Big Ed. He was terrified of local thunderstorms and entirely dismayed to learn that the thousand thread count sheets, which can set you back a few hundred bucks, were never going to make it to him. I have a skin condition called atopic dermatitis, so I can only sleep with sheets that have at least a thousand thread count. So I preemptively shipped these special sheets to Rose, but they didn't arrive. Now I'm screwed. Of course, with Rose and her family sleeping on the floor, he wasn't going to have much use for those sheets anyway. Well, I can help. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. She doesn't have a bed. She has a little mattress pad that she rolls out. She basically sleeps on the floor. Eventually, Ed couldn't stand one more night without air conditioning, and he whisked Rose away to a modern style hotel with all the creature comforts. In other words, it all comes back to money, and Big Ed is a little worried after seeing Rose's everyday life that her interests in him aren't entirely noble, and she might be working in conjunction with her sister to use him as her next meal ticket. In order to find out the answer to that question, we'll have to wait and see as the season has yet to conclude. But regardless of the outcome, questioning your better half's motives almost always ends up in heartbreak. All signs on social media are pointing to these two not working out in the long run, with Rose recently taken to Instagram stories to say this about Big Ed in a since deleted post. I quote, How dare you embarrass me in front of millions of people? Don't believe him. He doesn't really care about me. He just wants to be famous. That's why he's doing that. He did not even give me any gifts except bra and panties. End quote. I think someone's forgetting about this. And then I got you good toothpaste. Okay. As for how Big Ed is handling this apparent setback, well, he apparently bought a new home upon returning to North America, and he plans to move into it soon and with the lady, his 81-year-old mother. Well, if Rose does end up coming back stateside, maybe Big Ed can flip the tables on her and have her share a shower with dear old Ma. If Rose wasn't already running for the hills, she sure as hell will be after that. All right, guys, I think we're gonna end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed this special edition of Rich Life, where we took a look at the culture clash between Big Ed's life in North America and his attempts to acclimate to life in the Philippines. Our last video on this guy did gangbusters, so if this one does the same, we'll have to think of another angle for him. Maybe his top five unintentional insults to Rose? Let us know what you guys want to see in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time.